Hello, I'm Katia Chavez and I work for the Natural and Social Science Lab at the Miami-Dade College, Kendall Campus. Today we're going to review a couple of concepts that you need to master in order to resolve any problem in chemistry. Um, we're going to learn how to calculate the number of atoms from any given mass in grams. So this is our problem. Our problem says, how many hydrogen atoms are present in 90 grams of methane? Methane is CH4. They give us a hint and they tell us that the molar mass of methane is 16 grams per mole. So let's do that. First, I need to write down what I know. What I know is this information that they have given me, the molar mass. What does that mean? They're telling me that for every mole, I have 16 grams of methane. So I put it here. One mole of methane weighs 16 grams. Now, the problem is not giving me 16 grams. The problem is asking me for the number of atoms, hydrogen atoms, present in 90 grams. So I'm going to use a method called the proportion method. What I need to do is once I write down what I know, in this case that one mole of methane is 16 grams, I need to put and establish an order. I'm going to write moles on the left and grams on the right. And I'm going to put the value that they're giving me in the problem. They're telling me that I have 90 grams, right? So I'm going to write 90 grams here. And of course, I don't know the number of moles that are equivalent to these 90 grams. So I do an X. The next thing that I need to do once I've placed all the variables in order is to cross multiply. So I'm going to cross multiply these and these two. And the cross multiplication of these two variables are going to be the same. So one mole of CH4 multiplies 90 grams. That product is going to be equal to the product of X with 16 grams. Now I have an equation, right? And I want x. So I'm going to isolate it. Since x is being multiplied by 16 grams, I'm going to divide by 16 grams on both sides, on the right and the left. When you get to resolve this part, x will be 5.625 mole. Mole of what? Well, remember, here the units grams are canceling, so it's mole of CH4. But we haven't finished yet, because I found the moles of CH4, and they want hydrogen, and they don't want moles, they want number of atoms. So I have to do a second step. So, what do I know? I know that in one molecule of CH4, I have four atoms of hydrogen. So by extension, if I have one mole of CH4, I'm going to have four moles of hydrogen. This is what I know. And I know that in my problem, they have given me 5.625 moles of CH4, because that was my previous calculation, and I put it here. 5.625 mole of CH4 is going to be certain number of moles of hydrogen, which is Y. So I'm going to do the same method, cross multiplication, one mole of CH4 times y is going to be 4 mole of h, right, times this guy here, which is 5.625 mole of hydrogen. When you do the math, again, you will need to divide by this guy because you want to find y, and you have 1 mole of CH4 here. 
so you need to divide by this term on both sides to maintain the equality. One mole of CH4, and this is CH4. So you get rid of this. Once you do the operation, you will know that Y is 22.5 mole of what? Hydrogen. They're close because now we have moles of hydrogen. But there's one last step. And if you remember, one mole is the same as Avogadro's number. So if I want the number of atoms present, I will have to do a last step in which I convert moles to a number. So in the last step, I know that one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. For this time, I'm going to disregard the second decimal, which is a two, and I'm going to put the variable that I found here, which is 22.5 hydrogen, moles of hydrogen. So I have 22.5 mole of hydrogen, and I don't know how much is that. This will be A for answer, what I'm looking at. Again, I do the cross multiplication, my variable, the answer, times one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23 times 22.5. And obviously I have to divide by one mole, or divide it by one here divided by one here, and this is mole, right? So moles get canceled, and after you do the math, the answer is 1.35, I'm just using two decimals, times 10 to the 25 atoms of hydrogen. And this is the final answer of the problem. So basically you have to use your proportions and what you know so that you can go from grams to number of atoms or vice versa. You're ready now to do any problem that involves stoichiometry. Good luck, work hard and stay tuned.